Well, hello, hello, and welcome into this Roulette Rival 7 match between Z Rune and Purple Key. I'm your host, Gunther, and I'm joined by co host, Chris X. Hey, how's it going? USA, gang, USA. Baby. <laughs> That's what this stream is going to be. It's just going to be us hyping up the USA. Uh, as the spin goes live, uh, Chris, would you like me to read it? Uh, yes, that would be great. Yeah. All right. So we have Hush with injected poison while disguised as a suit. And uh, Imo Imogen Royce with the scissors while well, disguised as is the dumpling cook. Oh, my goodness. All right, it's kind of late here, but that's no excuse for my <laughs> tongue to be sleeping. Let's go. All right, so we're seeing both players uh, uh, getting, getting their planning done pretty quickly and loading right in. This is a PC match. A great spin rigged by yours, true. <laughs> this is a... Uh, this is a good one. See, I don't. I know that this isn't where I would start because I'd want to take out Hush first, but I don't know. I don't know the I best way agree. to go about this. Uh, yeah, I think definitely a balcony start is what I would go for here. I mean, uh, Riverside start really isn't all that much slower, honestly. It's it's almost the same time, so it it doesn't really matter either way. And uh, I did see um, that that uh, purple was able to get uh, that that downstairs area set up, so he'll be able to basically just walk right in when he is ready for Imogen. And obviously, injected poison. If you really want to, you can just kind of run in and then run out. But scissors are probably the worst part about this spin, I guess, just because they're so out of the way compared right. to where everything else is, and it's a rip. Oh. Or Z Rune rushing too much there to get the hush kill. Tried to do it pretty he has, quick. Uh, yeah, he cranks those head turns when he's in his, his deprivation chamber. Yeah, he moves incredibly fast. A uh, little bit more patience on Purple's side here. I have no idea how that wasn't a frontal KO, but. I <laughs> know, uh, he did. We could see a lot of Mogwai's face, couldn't we? He's uh, waiting for Jim Lee, and he's good now. Yeah, he's going to be able to get the injection kill, and uh, he's going to be able to mosey. Yeah, he drags that body anyways so that Mogwai isn't found, though. He can't actually get spotted through those boxes, yeah. so hope not. But that's that taken care of, so he's going to be able to get over to Imogen. Uh, he's already got the drone shot, so Imogen should be on her way. I'm hoping Purple didn't grab this brick so that he could boost down these stairs. Uh, and that's just going to be a rip. Because yep. you, can't, you can't boost mm -hmm. in roulette. Mm -hmm. uh, is there only one pair of scissors, that's... asks Script. Uh, that is correct, yes. Yes. Well, and, and the uh, board, I'll check, I'll check. You, you message... I'm 99% sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take a look at hitmaps.com real quick. Yeah, that message will go through to purple spin link. Uh, so, um, yeah, there's not really any way for me to make it more obvious to him. Uh, you can't look at the spin again until you yeah. acknowledge it. So. Uh, there is a second pair of scissors. Is it, uh, is it in one of the apartment rooms? I... I cannot tell. I think so. I don't think it's the apartment rooms. I think it's the building uh, that the sniper's on top of. Uh, level two. Uh, the uh, what's the that building called? The laundry building. The laundry building. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking it might be in one of the apartments because, like, that area of the map's kind of useless right, for the yeah. most part. But yeah. So let me see. It is. Floor is that on? Uh, level two is what I remember. Yeah, so it's on level two. So it's on the same level as the free dumpling cook disguise, uh, where the two guards are sat talking. Um, so yeah, the the scissors, I'd say for almost every spent. Like I myself have never gotten that free dumpling cook, which kind of shows how out of the way that is, but I'm sure there's at least one spin where you could grab those. And z -Rune has uh, the Dumpling Cook Disguise and the Scissors. That he does, and uh, 
Purple has restarted. He's well into it already. Uh, this is the, the same uh, setup that we've seen before. Went on that June Lee movement, and then I uh, should be able to get this injection, no problem. There it is. Yeah, I mean, we saw there at the end that he had a, a very clean kill on Imogen, so yeah. I don't think he's going to have any issues from this point. Um, Zirun has... Oh, okay, he didn't shoot a drone before. That's why he oh. came back. Uh, oh, see, that's going to put him a little bit behind because Purple's already got his drone shot. Yeah, I'd say when image is the only thing you have left, I would think you would probably want to just go ahead and shoot all five of them just to get her up there faster. Um, but, I mean, he's not trespassing as long as he doesn't just run through this checkpoint. So he can kind of just wait and not really have any sort of risk. He's, I guess, going to leave a gun for Vincent, which... We'll add a little bit more time. And what? Oh. Yeah, so that's the guy that, that uh. he took the disguise off of after having been woke up. Um, <laughs> he went to go get I wasn't expecting him I wasn't expecting him to be an enforcer though. Yeah, I um, I don't is it just because uh, of where he was or is it because of um that's the guy that he took the that, disguise from? Yeah, I don't as far as I know, neither of those guys are enforcers for the dumpling cook disguise like i've run past them before from restaurant start and not had any issues so i don't know if it's just because he's literally wearing his disguise and the game somehow recognizes that um purple's gonna have some issues because those one of those street guards heard that that yeah. was a frontal ko he's he's um, drug imaging down the stairs a little bit but that's not going to be I don't know if that blue hat was tranked or not, but it definitely just got found. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the fact that he, the fact that he has a dot over his head means that it wasn't a tranked body. So he was ripped no matter what. Yeah, yeah, he he definitely threw the hammer to to KO him earlier. Yeah, I feel. I mean, he wasn't trespassing. Uh, Imogen doesn't enforce him. I feel like he he definitely should have just kind of come up behind her and. And stabbed her in the neck. Well, Z Rune gets uh, hushed down. I, I really like this hush kill because it's very, very quick. And now he's going to be headed down. Hopefully, I didn't see if he shot a drone or not. I don't, I don't think he has. I think this is the. I just, I just saw him in the block. Maybe he did. I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to. We'll see. We'll find out pretty, pretty soon. And he's going to grab this disguise. And again, if he wants to to get the trank shot here for the dumpling cook, he's going to go for a different dumpling cook, I guess. And purple setting up the hush kill yet again. This, this part feels pretty smooth for purple. I feel like the only issue he's having is when he gets over to Imogen's side of the map. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know what his loadout looks like, but he could either bring a lockpick for that door so it doesn't have to stay open, or he could just, you know, come up behind her yeah. after he tranks the guard and he'll be fine either way. I know that he's been keeping the slapdash with him and he's shooting the door open as he's going up those stairs, but, uh, but yeah, I, I think he's also doing that to cause the bullet panic to get by everywhere, so I don't know. How integral it is uh, to... Yeah, from... From... Riverside start, for sure. Right. Alright, the Z-Rune has his dumpling disguise, and he's got his, uh, his scissors as well. And... Purple's gonna opt to KO that guard again. He's got one dart, and that's gonna be four Imogen's guard. Uh, he... Kind of has time to get up behind him here. It's just her guard that enforces. So he could just go without the trank here. Yeah, and opting to go for the isolation on Imogen and come back with the scissors later. Yeah, as Kenneth says, there is, there is a free dumpling cook. 
these guards might see this guy get trapped. Uh, I think yeah. that they did, yeah. Yep. Okay. They did. They did. All right, so what's, um, what's the plan? Is he going to drag Imogen out and around the corner up here? I don't... I mean, if he drags her to that box... Oh my god, is that guard going to see him? I was going to say he can drag him to the box, but when he does the kill, um, the street guards are going to hear it. Right. Because he's KO'd. Cause she's been so, yeah, knocked out, so... I don't know, honestly, what he's... I mean, he's in a rush here to get this disguise... But I I don't see how he could possibly be fast enough here. He definitely should have, if he wanted to go for this, just leave image in standing and then knock out the guard again. I was gonna get the dumpling yeah, cook the, KO'd and dumped real quick. The, the free dumpling cook in the facility is yeah. on the other side of the facility from the stairs, so it's kinda out of the way usually. And uh Imogen did just get found. Yeah, some rough from Purple Key. I mean, he's got the strat down. And he's just... He just keeps making these minor mistakes in his runs. But, uh... Zerun should be in the clear here. He's just got, uh... Because the guard is going to take that gun and mosey. And so Zerun's just going to have to chuck the scissors, and then that's going to be that. Yeah, probably a uh, easy scooter spot. We'll get scooter exit. We'll get him out of there, um, and then that would send us into map two. Chong King. Chong King. Okay, that's very good. exciting. <laughs> that's good. We're gonna go from one Chong King to the other. Uh, looks like he's good there. And yep. Then we'll get exit. All right. Yeah. So, so as I said, Purple definitely had the strategy, but then between right. the inadvertently breaking the rules and then the uh just he was rushing a little bit too much on the image and kill and that really cost him on those runs yeah i i think that that boost run was probably his cleanest attempt uh and we didn't get to see how that finished because he can't boost so and that is Probably the third or fourth time that I've seen somebody rip a run on those stairs with that brick specifically. So I kind of knew where that was going as soon as he picked it up. Yeah, and I'm sure in the moment, like, they're just not thinking about this type of stuff. But uh, it's, it is in the rules. I, just, I read that today because I have read the rules since we've last cast. Let's go. Yeah, so I'm all caught up. I'm schooled. <laughs> Indeed. Um, that was interesting. I got three Hush Facility Analyst spins in a row, so that was... Oh, beautiful. Didn't know that could even happen. <laughs> Mathematically. Trying to tell you something. Um, let me send out the message to the players here, and then we'll be good to go. Cool. Yeah, and well played by Z Room, you know? Like... It's uh, definitely a faster hush strat, but uh, didn't get Imogen move until pretty late. And so most of that was just kind of waiting around for her to get to where he needed her to go. Yeah, that's always going to be a thing on on China. Imogen gives you a decent amount of time, but, you know, it's not forever. So if right. you're thinking of a strat and you just don't really know, uh, you know... It doesn't matter how much you play this game. You're not. You can't plan out an entire spin time-wise. Yeah. Just kind of in your head. So if you're not sure about that, it's always better to just shoot the drone later to be safe. Um, because you know even if you lose the single drone lure and she goes back, you can you still have the five drone, but it just takes so much time at that point. Right. Um. For a spin, seven, you don't really want to be relying seven, on backup plans too much. Seven. Cool. So new spin in two and a half minutes. And let's see. Anything else I need to do? Yeah, I was gonna send this. That's right. 
We do have uh, predictions live in the chat. If in, you want to uh, bet those sweet G monies on your favorite player or whoever you think is going to win, then uh, do so because it, it closes soon. Back-to-back <laughs> -back Tron King with a Tron King decider, I'm sure. Hurting the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm no, we won't. Over we won't see a John King decider. So uh, the band maps are Dubai and Mendoza. Um, that's the Hitman Three Love tonight. Yeah, and of course we also won't be seeing any Dartmoor or, or New, New York. York this match. Amen. Right. <laughs> yes. Um, We'd love to see it. Me and Barb were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Uh, personally, I I have I hate Dartmoor a lot more than than New York. I honestly don't think New York is that bad. But from a competitive perspective, I mean, there's there's like I forget we worked out how many possible spins there were for most of the maps at some point, and for New York and Dartmoor, it's just like so small. It's so realistic to be mm -hmm. able to know how to do every single spin on the map, and it's yeah. just. Well, and, you know, it's the overlap when, you know, a certain isolation strategy works or any number of kills can work from the same setup. You know, that's that's when you know it's just not that diverse a map for something like this. Yeah, too much of a coin flip. Too much of a coin flip. And that was the biggest problem that people had was it was just too quick and uh, uh, wasn't really representative of the, of the maps that got us there. So. Yeah, I think... The final, there was a pretty significant match um, in the World Championship, or maybe it was like an RR6 semifinal or something. It was a really late match, and it was decided after like, it was World Championship because there was like four maps played before that, and the whole thing was decided by Dartmoor. And we were all just like, <laughs> yeah. it just felt so bad for yeah. everybody. Jason, all right, Spin's going to come live soon. Chris, do you want to read it? Nine. Of course I want to read it. Awesome. It's going to be, let's see, uh, Hush SMG as the homeless person, Mujin Royce Electrocution as the street guard. Um, I think Electrocution's a pretty interesting kill. There's, uh, yeah, four ways that I know of that are pretty um, viable, I would say. Okay. Uh, so, you know, a lot of the disguises here are kind of higher up when you think of the different levels of the map. So um, we'll have to see which one the player's opt for. I I only saw purples load out there. Street guard start there. Street, or, er, uh, sorry, Riverside start again. And Z-Rune's getting right uh, into it. So you said that there are four electrocution methods you can think of. Uh, what what ones can you walk me through them as someone who doesn't know the electrocution methods? Uh, so there's the one that I think gets mo used most often now when you emetic her at the top of the stairs, and then she, when she gets sick, she walks right into a puddle. Oh, okay. Um, so you can set up an emetic mine and set up a taser and make that like completely remote when you shoot a drone. Uh, so that's why a lot of people go for that. There's also, if you do five drone lure, you can use an EMP um, on the roof in a puddle. So that's remote as well. Um, from facility analyst start, there's actually about four, three and a half, four minutes into the spin, she will walk through a cooler puddle if you shoot it. So that's another one that's oh, wow. remote. Okay. Um, and then the only one that isn't remote is the one in the break room, which... Uh, I think hasn't really been used for a long time. I think it's it's not it's probably the worst of the four, but it's an option. So, well, Zerun is right into things with his uh his homeless disguise, and he's making his way over to where Hush is right now. So I think that yeah, we'll see. Up... I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, he's picked up that downstairs homeless, which will give him a path straight up here the same way as last spin. Right. And yeah, that was pretty quick. Uh, are we seeing five drones from uh, Purple here? Yeah, he's sniping the drones with an SMG. <laughs> That's really difficult. At least he's not on console. Oh man, I couldn't imagine. 
I shudder at the thought. <laughs> I bet there's people that could do it. But, uh, that's a big okay. bush on Zero inside. Okay, he's going to get spotted. Spotted by Hush. That would have gone straight into, H or into Mogwai's ears there, so yeah. that was going to be a rip. He, uh, I mean, that was, that felt really quick, too, you know? Like, I feel like he had, he was in a, a really Ooh. good way. Purple is... He's clearing guess, out this yeah, rooftop. He's, yeah, he's looking to clear out the roof. You see there, he's already got, or so he's already got Hush isolated. Oh, um, is he looking to get, he's looking to get Imogen up here and, uh, and, yeah. and go through the puddle. Okay. So it's kind of the same thing that I mentioned when you bring her up stairs and use the MP, but um, all of these guards will kind of convene with her at the top of the stairs. Um, so by getting rid of these, it kind of just leaves her and her guard by her themselves. Um, I'm not, I don't know who... Did she just wall hack that body? Oh, yeah, no, she I did. think that she did. She did indeed just wall hack that through a wall and a floor. Um... So I don't I don't know if her guard saw that or not. Uh, if he didn't, she he's still fine. Yeah, I. Um, I but as soon think. as no, as soon as you KO image in there, it's a rip. None of those puddles work on. Uh, oh, I see. Bodies. It's got to be live. So, um, the one, the like pipe that's in the block might work on KO'd bodies, but that's a lot of dragging. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Uh, Z Rune has changed up his strat a bit. He's not going for the homeless disguise first. He's got the isolation on Hush down, though. Yeah, and he's. Looks like he's going for the five drone as well here. Um, so switching that up from the riverside. Again, doing the, uh, the sniping with the SMG. Sometimes you got it when that's what you got to bring in. Crime notice. Who did he get crime notice by? I don't know. And he had a he had a, a, foul, a body found as well. He he tranked the block guard that's in that room so that Jun Lee wouldn't see him oh, KO I see. Hush. Yeah. But I don't. I guess she like saw him while she was leaning over or something. Um, and Zero now is oh that is not. <laughs> I mean, if that puddle works, that would be amazing. But I'm like. There's n there's no way that puddle works. <laughs> one of these, this little one that's right by his feet here might work, but um, usually you can tell by uh, the texture if it's an actual valid puddle or not. It really right. doesn't look like it. And now he's got this body over here. I mean, if he thinks it's going to work, he might as well just set it off now. She's not going to come out here. Um, did he, I thought he shot five drones. I thought so too, but. Is either it... he didn't or he shot them too quick. I don't know. Maybe she's got a, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you can, if you throw something right at the door, she'll come out here, but is he going to test if it kills him? Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Yeah. So that's going to be a rip for, uh, for zero. All right, well, dang. So where it, where is the puddle? Is it you're saying it's at the top of the stairs where he has to get her? Uh, yeah. There, I don't know. There might be one downstairs somewhere, but um, I don't think there's any right there, like right where she comes out. Yeah, there's like you can tell on the roof here, like yeah, there's a lot of water in these puddles compared to the ones that are downstairs. But it's got to and... basically be standing. It can't just be like a wet road. Yeah, like the kind of kind of the point of doing it upstairs is that once you shoot those five drones, she's just gonna come up there. You don't have to touch her. You don't have to do anything. You don't yeah. have to get rid of any guards. You just, you know, the the game makes a sound when somebody goes to like pick something up. So you just listen for that and then set it off. Z Rune's gonna do another restart here. He doesn't like exactly how his start went, uh, and uh, yeah. Purple's gonna. Gonna clear the roof again. Hopefully, purple doesn't get ripped by. I mean, I think that's the only wall hack I've ever seen on this map. I it was weird. I don't know if like the way that he fell, maybe his hand was like poking through the wall or something. But uh, yeah, that was unique. Unique indeed. And 
that card. Okay, he's not gonna see that. So hopefully Purple actually has Imogen coming up the stairs. Yeah, we'll see yeah. here in a second. Because this is about the spot where she found the body before, so I think it's one more stairwell. <laughs> Meanwhile, Zebrun <laughs> is running out of bullets. Uh, yeah, so I'm really hoping Purple doesn't KO her here. I He doesn't have the... the no, he's wearing the disguise. He's wearing the street card disguise. Oh, but that's a oh, that's a takedown. Well, he's gonna have stairs. to he's gonna have to KO her now. Yeah. Um, I mean, he KO'd the guard on the so even though he was directly behind the guard, there's a ninety nine percent chance that was red guns, anyways. Yeah. But is he gonna drag her? Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna drag her all the way to the pipe. That's that. Uh, oh, there one of the drones. <laughs> hey, you see there where that socket is on the ground is kind of where it's free to do yeah, that would have been <laughs> that would have been funny if if the drone saw imogen's body and like somehow brought some guard <laughs> over here uh so yeah i'm wondering i'm wondering if imogen's death is going to get heard by one of these guards and if that's going to be an issue for him is he gonna i think he's gonna clear gonna out, out these guards too because he's oh uh, yep yeah, that was that was seen for sure 100 percent that guard, their guard has no reason to panic unless he saw that knockout. Right. Uh, he's okay. But he, purple key, purple's going strong here. He, he thinks he's going to get his green guns back, and so, yeah. I don't, he's going for the homeless person right now. I hope I hope he doesn't think he's going to kill Imogen in the wrong disguise here. Right. I mean, he, he left his uh, street guard disguise up near her. I don't understand why he's not just taking her out now to make sure that he gets his green guns yeah. back. Yeah, because, I mean, his strat is relying on her being the only one that saw anything at this right. point. And Zerun's letting Imogen go to the top of the stairs. He's going for his homeless person, but I didn't see him do any sort of setup for the electrocution, so... Yeah, the... Uh, the puddles of standing water... Um, from what I've tested and what Coates has tested are all live only. All right, um, so Zerun had a kind of a stare takedown of that homeless person disguise. Uh, yeah, and it, he's fine. It seems like he's expecting her to die any time now. So, yeah, and then you see Purple gets Image and dead, and he's still red guns in the bottom left corner. Right. So yeah, I, so he knows that he was seen at that point. Right. Yeah, stair knockouts will give you red guns, even if you're behind them and they don't see anything. Um, uh, Imogen is not not currently dead. So yeah, she's Zerun... not investigating anything either. Right. Zerun's going to have to get up there. Uh, he just oh. got a kill on Imogen's guard, so I, I think he might have used the... the wrong... Yeah. I think he might have used the wrong puddle. Shoot. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, I think he didn't press anything, so I think he just left a taser and a coin or something. Seeing the but, same hush uh, set up by Purple here. It's tried yeah, and true. I don't. Purple's fine doing the exact same thing as long as he doesn't, you know, do a loud KO or anything like that. In the next round. Yeah, and I, it's just a weird time for him to go after the guard. Um, uh, cause yeah, I'm I'm guessing he was trying to get the guard on the landing. Uh, and he just didn't make it, and the guard took a step on the first steps. But I don't know. I'm just surprised that he's yeah, going for it. I I think his concern there was that once one of them got to the top of the stairs, um. They were maybe going to be in range to spot some of those bodies. Oh, yeah, and that, that does make uh, sense. So he's trying to keep it so that only Imogen might see it. Yeah, and he got he got to to Imogen's guard, like, once he got his first pinky toe on that stair, and it was just <laughs> over. All right, Zerun's going to get the isolation on Hush here as well. And Purple this time is trespassing up here. Uh, and a researcher disguise. And why did he take the researcher disguise? 
Uh, I don't know. Maybe he thought it was legal up here. I don't really know. Um, but I mean, he's back in street guard now. Yeah. And that guard, wow. I am surprised that that guard right in front of him did not see those KOs. Hopefully he doesn't turn around here. This is a weird positioning for these guards compared to where they were the last run. Right. Well, I think Purple's just, he's here a little bit earlier as well. I mean, he's got he's got five guards he needs to knock out, all of which are on a cycle, so that's just, like, nerve-wracking. Trying to drag the body uh, out of sight around here. Okay. Yeah, imagine if, if one of these guards died because they got dragged through the puddle. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's happened at some point. Oh. Right. Uh, one okay. more KO. Yeah, and he's going to get that rooftop cleared. Now, did he get the five drones? Uh, it looks to me like she's just standing at the bottom of the stairs. So yeah. he's, I think, looking to make sure he shot all of them. No, you I said he did. You said that it can be done too quickly. Yeah, so if you don't... The way the... The mission story tracks it as you get, you know, one of those little like Intel acquired right. uh, things, and that goes for all the drones. So if you shoot them too quickly and it doesn't like mark all of them, for some reason, even though one drone is the same thing as four drones, it like tracks them all individually. So if you don't, if you do it too fast, it doesn't mark all of them, and then it thinks that you only shot like four drones or whatever. Um, and what oh. so Zebra just tranked Imogen's guard and right. it, Imogen's not gonna take a bump here. He might drop if he drops something in front of her, she might question mark, but he's got his oh, oh, no, no. He tranked the guard because he was worried about Imogen. Oh right. my what is he doing? Uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> he was <laughs> he was worried about the guard seeing the coin instead of Imogen, and then he just like yeah. started taking taking names. And Purple shot, uh, shot and panicked. He shot one too many times and panicked Imogen because she can hear those shots. Yeah, I think um, I think that Zerun's uh, knockout of Imogen's guard would have been fine if he had, uh, I guess, just done it earlier. Because I think the problem was the guard was just too far up the stairs. So when he got KO'd, that body was visible above the top of the steps, seen by that guard, and then that's that's where we landed. Yeah, and I mean, we saw there he had, you know, he didn't have forever, but he had some time to kill a little bit. Um, and from, from my knowledge, those stairs are, like, one of the few stairs in the game that aren't actually see-through. Mm -hmm. So I've never had, like, if I KO her while she's behind, or while he's behind her on the stairs, I've never had her see it, so. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the strats themselves are perfectly fine. It's just kind of like there's some quirks here um, that kind of need to fall into place, and then right. one of them will get the run. Yeah, so so they kind of... They both went into it definitely with an idea of what they needed to do here. Right. Zero's got the electrocution kill set up so long as Imogen sees the coin. I don't know if she's seeing the coin is the thing. Yeah, usually I put it uh, like at the, the closest spot um, that's a puddle to where the top of the stairs is, because then she'll see that before she does anything else. Right. And I think that that's what Zerun's done, because he's put it, like, basically on the edge of that puddle, like, just enough in it that she'd be stepped in it, but at the same time, uh, uh far enough away that she has to crest the stairs to see it. So, we'll see. Yeah, she gets kind of like that, uh... Like Jorge Franco blindness effect when she goes and looks <laughs> at her iPad there. I don't know if you've if you've done if you've seen this yourself, but there are uh, NPCs on Berlin that are all on their phones, and you can quite literally do anything right, right. in front of them, and they'll never notice. Like yeah. they are blind. <laughs> there's there's a soldier on Marrakesh down in the little uh, locker room area as well. It's the same. He's looking at his little iPad, and you can walk around him. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that's, like, by the oil barrel? Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah. Yep, he pays no attention to everything that goes on. It just down like there. deletes their view cone. So yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. kind of the issue that it was the issue that uh Zirun was having was she just literally couldn't see the coin. And Zirun is playing it uh, pretty safe here. He's gonna basically follow Imogen, yeah. but she looks like she's He's got her stopped. stopped. Uh yeah, she's gonna stay here now. Ah uh, no. Okay. Yeah, so. I didn't. I I didn't see all of the drones that he shot, so I don't know. But he's got. Yeah, that's a lockdown again, and that's gonna be a. Wrap. He he definitely shot all five. But like he yeah, shot think... the first one, and then he shot four more after that, and it there was a gap between when he did his his shot. So I'm wondering if. That was the problem. Yeah, there was a time in, in like the RR four period where it was like, the only thing people talked about in this on this map was how the drones worked because it was just <laughs> like so painful to kill Imogen if you didn't know how they worked. Yeah. So it was just like everybody just kind of learned by brute force at that point. I remember many a coat stream watching him shoot yeah, the drones indeed. and restart and shoot the drones and restart. I stole all my strats on that <laughs> stream myself, so. Uh, but I, I mean, I was watching all of those drone shots for purple, and they all looked like they were far enough apart for me. I mean, I really yeah. don't wait that long. I think Zerun is in the same boat. Uh, he took care of all five drones right at the start. I mean, Imogen takes so long to get moving anyway. Like, there's really no benefit to delaying when you do that if that's your, your strategy anyway. I mean, you can really tell if you, like, stare at her in instinct. She, you can tell if she's walking faster or not. Like, she's not running, but she definitely yeah. is moving, like, twice as fast. And it, it looks to me on Zero's screen like she does have that fast walk. And yeah, Purple's going to get a body found there and another rip. It's um, it's nice to see that both players are struggling with the same kill. I guess nice is the wrong word, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, Electric Heathen is one of those kills where it's like, if you know exactly how to do it, it's like one of the easiest things. But if you don't, it's just like such a pain to, to have to work out all the little parts of it. Just like, you know, this is the case with a lot of accident kills on roulette. Uh, Zerun does have Imogen moving up to the roof now. Um, I thought there he was maybe going to drop some coins to stall the guard, but I don't even know if he would respond to that or not. I don't either, and I I thought maybe he was waiting to get behind the guard to knock him out or something, just to keep him back. Yeah, because he doesn't even have this this kill set up just uh, yet. I mean, it looks like, yeah, he's he's putting it in in the closer puddle. That I tend to prefer. Um, and he's got a little chain here as well, so two coins. Yeah, so I would, that whole, all those puddles are like connected. So I would, I would get out of there before <laughs> yeah. you hit that button. So uh, oh, yeah, wait, he's just gonna in... bump the guard here. Yeah, see some delays here. And she's seen that coin, so he can go ahead now and trigger that if he wants to. He's in the right disguise. Nice. Oh, hitting some buffer. This is the worst possible time, Z Rune. Oh, come on. Come, come on. on. Don't do this. Okay, I see him bumping a guard. It's a repeat of yesterday. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. I, okay, I can hear it. Yeah. Perfect. Right before. Ugh. Okay. Literally the worst possible timing in the 47 minutes of this spin for that to happen, but. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, he's got Hush isolated. We saw in his previous runs that he was opting for the homeless person. Uh, that's down with the flyers and everything. Right, yeah, and he was able to get that cleanly, too, so I'm assuming we'll see that again. He, I think he still has some darts, too, so if he wants to be really uh, careful with it. And I'm hoping he doesn't risk the route back up too much, and I'm also hoping that, that those guards, if he chooses to go up that way, have moved and calmed down by the time he comes back. Yeah, I mean... At this point, just go up through the apartments, I would say. 
Yeah, and then don't try to exit on the rooftop. Yeah. Especially a homeless person might even be hostile area, not trespassing, I don't know, but... Okay, well, he's got the disguise. He's got his slapdash still. Is he gonna? Is he gonna three shot again here? I think so. I think. I mean, it's been working for him, and it's been what he's been doing up to this point. Yeah, I mean, if he does it the exact same way, he should be fine. Um, this guard's earning their pay this week. Yeah, lots and lots of running. And yeah, so what I was worried about is him maybe meeting. Vincent on the stairs here, but uh, it seems like they're out of the way by now. Yeah, I have no idea where they took Imogen. I think they usually drag Hush's body, yeah, into that little closet. So, um, he's not going to enforce now that that Zirin has made his way into the actual block. Still, off I don't know if he's uh, disguise change maybe on the way out. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if he's if. Oh my. That's... Nobody heard that. Oh, he had them all. Oh, killed. okay. That's. I was very concerned. I was like, "Wow, he's very brave." Yeah, this disguise would let him onto the rooftop, or it'll just be easier to get down to the scooter. Either way, yeah. it's uh, about the same distance. So, uh, it looks like he. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's any knocked out bodies that are out, other than. The one he just pulled the disguise off of, so he I, should be good to go. Or, nobody's going to get to that bridge. You should be absolutely fine. We're gonna this, see him. Even sub sub five thirty, even. Perfect. Yeah, no, and, that uh, again. We what would we say? We needed it. Just needed everything needed to click all at once, all the way through, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, they. I mean, Zero and switched it up a little bit right at the beginning there, but they were kind of using the the same strats the whole time. It was just like they had issues with the five drones not working and. Not seeing the coin and all that sort of thing, and that just kind of came together at the end. Yeah, and, and good job to Z Rune as well. Uh, you know, pulling off Tron King back to back, two entirely different spins. I think it's safe to say, um, but well played by both players, obviously. Just uh, and I mean, purple there. You see, even knows that the puddles upstairs don't work on KO targets, so he right. was like very aware of how this kill works. Right, yeah, and he, he opted to take the body even, uh, like, across the bridge every single time. Like, that was his plan. It wasn't mm -hmm. to do the live mm -hmm. thing, uh, or that was his fallback plan. He just had to rely on uh, on his fallback plan every time. But, I mean, it still worked. It worked out pretty well. So. Oh, GG's. GG's. Rest in peace, Map 3 Miami. Oh, Map 3 Miami, okay. That would have been a fun one. Uh, do you have the spin on what that would have been? Uh, no, it, it doesn't show the spin okay. after the matches. Completed, okay. So unfortunately, that's unfortunate, but it's all right. All right, we're gonna take a look at uh, the brackets and see how this shapes them up real quick. Yeah, I have uh, sent that through on the results. This is on the PC side of things, so that is loading mm -hmm. right now. Uh, let's see here. Zerun is gonna move on. Uh, he will face the winner of R Dude and Cobalt, which I think is a match happening tomorrow. Uh, and. Let's see here. Where did Purple Key? Okay, Purple Key has been relegated to the lower bracket round two. He will face whoever loses the match of of Ardu and Cobalt. Okay, so that works out. So <laughs> we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see Ardu and Cobalt move on or go down and face uh, Purple Key uh, sometime soon. Let's take a look at the upcoming matches because uh, I think that this is the last one for a little bit. We've got some coming up soon. Yeah, we've got, we've got a match coming up in, what, about 5 hours and 15 minutes or so over on Barbecue's channel, uh, our dude and Cobalt. Again, those names just keep uh, on yeah, popping up. Yeah. Uh, if you want to see these for yourselves, go to hitmaps.com, scroll down to the upcoming matches section, uh, and you'll be able to see these in your own time zones as well. So you'll get to know where they are, where they're going to be cast, all that good stuff. Uh, and just check out hitmaps.com in general. It's going to be... A busy day tomorrow for roulette. We've got yeah, yeah. A lot of matches going on in the same time span. So oh yeah. To see. Yep. So best of luck to everybody, admins, casters, all that stuff included, uh, and players as well. Um, is there anything else that we have to cover, Chris? Or are we good? Uh, I think we're good to head out here. All right. Wonderful. Well, uh, thank you, players, for playing. Thank you, guys, all for coming out and uh, 
and chilling with us while we while we figured this stuff out. It was a lot of fun. Um, is anybody alive that we can go raid right now? Um, I was looking on, at least not that I know. I don't see anybody playing Hitman or other games. There's a stream <laughs> with 700, 700 views streaming in Chinese. So if you want to check that out. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to give, uh, we got Cold Dan Hell. He's playing Hitman 3. He's, uh, he's on my friends go. list. We'll give him a raid. Um, Chris, thanks so much for adminning and for stepping into CoCast with me. I appreciate it. Great, as always, USA represent. USA represent at this ungodly hour. And, uh, yep. yeah, that's all, that, that's all that we have for you. Uh, keep coming back to hitmaps.com. Keep coming back for more roulettes. And uh, we will see you all in the next one. See ya.